After being buried for over 2,200 years, the Terracotta Army was discovered in 1974. It was created to serve Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China in the afterlife. Experts and archaeologists in northwest China's Shanxi province have been working tenaciously in preservation and restoration. The relics have led to deep understanding of the Qing dynasty. Historians say the monumental projects were crafted by 700,000 artisans through nearly seven years. For nearly 50 years, experts have been working to restore the life-sized clay figures. It can take months or even years to piece the fragments together. Qing Dynasty's craftsmanship was perfect, with high aesthetic value. We should work to restore the structure so that the warrior can stand on his feet. We follow principle of minimum intervention and use materials that are compatible with the relics. If we cannot piece them together, we should suspend the work until more advanced technologies become available. Restoration experts use an ultra depth of field microscope. Sometimes they can identify fingerprints and names of ancient craftsmen, as well as the original colors. Changes in temperature and humidity can damage the paint. Before the 1990s, it was very difficult to protect the relics. The team has developed a paint layer reattachment technique to restore the original color. Different pigments were used to paint terracotta warriors. They were first lacquered and then covered by three layers of pigment to give them a real-life look. If there's any pigment left on the clays, we extract them and then carefully reapply them using modern technology. Pale green, vermilion, lilac and sky blue were most commonly used. The colors were made of minerals and some are very rare. Many of these colors can be restored today, except for one called Chinese purple. The most special color in the army is that we call the Chinese purple. Based on research, the main component of the Chinese purple is copper barium silicate. It's the first time the purple copper barium silicate was discovered on terracotta warriors and horses. The color Chinese purple is considered the first man-made purple pigment. Because it only existed during the Qing and Han dynasties, that makes it even more precious. Zhang Meiyuan, CGTN.